Funding for the muck is provided by Knapp Army Surplus, the Madison Ruby Foundation, and individuals like you from our listening audience. For more information about the muck, visit www.welcometothemuck.com. Chapter 2. The Adventure Begins Buckhannon, West Virginia, is roughly three hours west of D.C., as the crow flies. But crows have the benefit of flying straight and not having to navigate (laughs) a giant mountain chain. The way we travel, humans in cars on the interstate, from D.C. to Buckhannon, you're door-to-door in, say, four and a half hours. The most common path leads you past Arlington, Virginia, through Maryland's Cumberland Gap, then south when you hit Morgantown. But seeing as this is my first ever trek into the mountain state, I'll take a less traveled, more adventurous route. The turn-by-turn directions on Google Maps look like something spit out by the Enigma machine. 66 to 81, 55 to 48, 32 to 33. I'll start and end my trip on a four-lane highway at least, but in between, more hairpins than Rita Hayworth's beauty cabinet. I'll confess, in taking this field assignment for the muck, I'm leaving my more customary routine and geography. I'm approaching 30, yet I've rarely ventured beyond my comfy East Coast bubble, let alone traveled into the heart of rural Appalachia. You see, I'm a product of urbanity. I grew up in the heart of Baltimore, went to school at NYU, and live in a flat in Petworth. I don't even own a car, and around here, that's not all that uncommon. I'm well-traveled and well-educated, and yes, I've been to the South before, many times, in fact, New Orleans, Memphis, and Raleigh. But those are cities with airports, professional athletics, for lack of a better word, civilization. Like any good journalist, I've done some preparation for my trip to Buckhannon. Armchair research, you might call it. A simple internet search reveals the basics. First, it's Buck Hannon, pronounced with a hard K, not to be confused with Buchanan, a much different city in a much different state. Buck Hannon is the county seat of Upshur and its sole incorporated city. The origin of the town's name is unsettled. Many believe Buck Hannon stems from a Scottish family surname. Others think it's an anglicized version of Chief Buck on Gee Hannon, a Native American who hailed from the region. Either way, there's no disputing that in its name, and I surmise many other respects, Buck Hannon is no Springfield. Like any state, West Virginia has its fair share of icons, living and dead, athletes like Jerry West, Randy Moss, and Mary Lou Retton. Authors like Homer Hickam, Pearl S. Buck, and Stephen Kuntz. Politicians like, well, there's really no one like Senator Robert C. Byrd now, is there? I'm told his namesake adorns every highway, rest stop, and outhouse in the state. But for all West Virginian citizens have accomplished, popular culture seems callously indifferent to this tradition. Even as MTV canceled its redneck reality circus Buck Wild a few years back, in 2017, the Wrong Turn movie franchise will launch its seventh installment. Now, I'm smart enough to know that the backwoods, inbred, cannibalistic mountain man trope can't possibly reflect the totality of West Virginian culture, but without any other frame of reference to inform my expectations, would I be surprised if my investigation descends into a handheld chase scene of a B-grade horror flick? show it to you but let, let me describe it I'm driving through the mountains now it's a gorgeous sunny day and uh, I don't actually know where I am somewhere between Mount Storm and uh, uh, Elkins I think anyway I wish you could see this for the past 10 minutes the display of my in dash car radio has been scanning the entire spectrum of the FM band on search mode without landing on a single station. So, ladies and gentlemen, listen closely. I give you Appalachian Radio. (laughs) 
Now, I've only just arrived to Buckhannon, but experiences like the one you just heard make it impossible not to realize that I'm entering a truly unique part of America. In D.C., I'd chide friends who didn't return my text within 15 minutes, but here, well, today's experience in traveling through and across and around these narrow mountain passages simply to get to the destination, just so I can begin my report, uh, brings new meaning to the phrase, off the grid. Now, granted, in fairness, the city of Buckhannon is located near a major interstate highway, and it's not at all difficult to find on a map if you know where you're looking. But in today's scenic drive from D.C. to this small town, the discrepancies between where I was this morning and where I am right now, it's striking, so much so that I almost forgot why I came to Buckhannon in the first place, to learn what really happened here in this community some 15 years ago to revisit the tragic deaths of the Unseld twins and to uncover the mystery of Vanishin Verdant. And who precisely is Vanishin Verdant? I'll cover that in my next installment, All in Due Time. This is Albert Edwin Carter from Buckhannon, West Virginia, inviting you to join me next time on The Muck.